uh, you know, there's a lot of different um, kind of versions and like precursors to the, to the accordion. But the accordion kind of when it started making shape, taking shape and being the instrument that we know it today, it uh, was probably in 1821 in Germany. And um, so there, in, around that time period, like the 1820s to the 1830s, a lot of different people were coming up with different styles. In Russia, they had a version. In Italy, they were kind of playing around a little bit too. But um, Germany is usually known as the birthplace of the accordion. In the early 20th, early 20th century, it was known as the golden age of the accordion. But then it kind of lost its popularity with the rise of, of the electric guitar. But the great thing is that it stayed popular in Eastern Europe. It, it kept on being really popular and still it's really popular over there. And, um, and even though the accordion has kind of lost this you know, cool factor, it's kind of coming back. The hipsters are bringing it back. <laughs> you know, and I appreciate it. I love them for that. <laughs> So um, it was it was really adopted by a lot of different folk music folk musicians because it was a really portable instrument, um, and so people it was like the boombox of the or, you know the 18th, 19th, and early 20th century because it, people could bring it with them anywhere and they could play you know a song with an accompaniment of the bass and also the notes. So there was a lot of folk music that was you know played with that, and also a lot of classical music was played. People wrote a lot of songs um, or like they transposed it or like. Um, you know, played it on the accordion or made it playable on the accordion. Well, I got this accordion uh, at a used music store and it was $200, but it's kind of a beater, it needs some work. But if you really want to start getting an accordion, getting into accordions that are like um, really nice, you're looking at starting starting at $1,000, probably at the lowest, and then like if you want to get something a lot nicer, $2,000, $3,000. So they're definitely not the cheapest instruments in the world. <laughs> 